morning to you. And to yourself. You are alone here. The world hides in fright when there's rumor of cholera. But not yourself. No, sir. I make my home where men's fear lies. I fight it for them. Then you are welcome here. So I declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for D.I. Woods. You found her? Howard Weston, legal counsel for the Met. I wonder if we might talk. You've been summoned to appear as a witness in the case of Mike Holland versus the Crown. He's suing for damages? Yes. So why have I been called as a witness? His counsel, Helen Clark, wants you as the arresting officer on the stand. She's completely within her rights to do so. Is there anything I don't know? Um, no, n no, I think we're up to speed with everything. Excuse me. Your Honor, I'd like to call for a recess. My client was not made aware this subject would be touched upon. The court will take a recess of one hour. Sergeant Harry Freeman, radio operator with the 553. If you're a competent German linguist, you should have reported it. Why didn't you? My grandparents are German. My old man thought it was important for me to grow up with a second language. You were transferred here from the Stalagluft at Henslau, right? Yeah, that's right. They were building a rail track through the site, so we were all relocated. And you were the only one sent here? I think I'm a typing error. I didn't want anyone to know. At my last camp, the Commandant thought I might be a spy. Why? I lost my ID tag when I was shot down. Stupid ass thought that was suspicious. He's bound to have passed on his notes to Driver. You could still have come to I'd me. I'd rather keep my head down, sir. I'd rather be walking the dogs on Beachy Head. I suppose we'll both have to make do. Now, this is good. Red lips are not so red as the stained stones kissed by the English dead. It's absolutely perfect. And, um, this one, uh... Dead youth. I thought anthem. This one? Mm. Anthem for dead youth. We'll work at it, and then bring it back, and we'll have a go at it together. Is it traumatic for you? No. Writing is like exorcism. Well, if you ever get back to the front, at least it'll be good for your poetry. Yes. Yes, it would. Contains a name. Maybe a royal name. No one's been able to prove it. No, but if the scholars are right, then this means Ptolemy, doesn't it? Maybe. But how? Are hieroglyphs letters? Is there an alphabet? Is it just Ptolemy's name or does it describe it? Is it all his royal titles? We don't know. But we have your translation of the Greek. We know what it's saying. King Ptolemy manifest God whose excellence is fine. So if this means Ptolemy, then these next to him mean manifest God whose excellence is fine, don't they? And how do you prove it? What if you read them in the other direction? Well, well then these say it instead. But aren't hieroglyphs symbols and not words? Meaning what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, think of a coat of arms. We know what that indicates, who it stands for, but we can't read it. Napoleon's experts thought they'd crack this in a matter of weeks. They didn't. Professor Sassy has been working on it in Paris for years. And others, too. It's not going to be easy. Isabel! Charles. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. Couldn't you have written? What would I have said? If you're thinking about me, don't. If you're saving a part of yourself for me, don't. Because I'm sleeping with your best friend. Oh, you'd like it like that, wouldn't you? The great wronged Charles. I think I'm entitled to some indignation. What about me? How do you think it felt to be just left like that? And not for a woman, but for God. 
How do you compete with that? I needed to make sure before committing myself to you that I was doing the right thing. Now that you're about to sign there, what are you doing? You're knocking on my door again just to make sure. Oh, look at you, Charles. Still as unsure as ever. You're stroking your chin, kicking a tire or two, just wondering how it will be. That's not how it is. Yes, it is. Only this time it's different. There's no choice left for you to make anymore. I've got to go.